kind of ridiculous right now, but that's because I have been having a lot of fun this past few hours challenging myself to recreate an Emily Casanova eye look. If you don't know who Emily Casanova is, now you know. You've got to follow her on Instagram. She's one of my favorite makeup artists. She does all of these crazy, colorful, creative looks, and I'm always very inspired by her color combos and things like that, but I've never personally tried one of her makeup looks myself. In fact, I don't think I've ever done anything like one of her makeup looks. I 100% did not think I was going to pull this off, but I tried anyways, and I had a lot of fun doing it, so don't forget to check out Emily Casanova's Instagram page. I'll link it down below. So I hope you enjoy this attempted recreation. Now let's get into the video. To start off, I'm going to prime my eyes with the Too Faced Shadow Insurance. And then I'm going to set my crease with the RCMA No Color Powder. I'm anticipating only using colors from the Morphe 35C palette, which should make it easy for you guys to know what I'm using. I would normally start with a transition shade, but I legitimately do not see her wearing one. So I think I'm just gonna try going in with the purple. Oh my gosh, I forgot to get tape. That is a crucial part of this, hold on. I'm only gonna do one eye on camera because I feel like this is gonna take me a while, so we're good to go. So going in with the lighter shade of purple first. Bring it all the way to the inner corner. I don't know if you can tell, but there's definitely a little bit of brown coming off of this brush from the last time I used it. And honestly, I think it makes a nice transition shade. Okay, that looks solid. Now I'm gonna go in with a darker purple. And I'm just gonna deepen up the crease a little bit and also bring this down onto the lid. Okay, so now it's time to cut the crease. Looking forward to this since I'm not very good at it. The issue I have is really just that my eyes like aren't made for a cut crease. Like if my eyes are open, you can't even tell I have a cut crease. Okay, so I'm about to use the smallest little brush you've ever seen. And then with the Tarte Shape Tape, I'm going to attempt to cut my crease. I have no idea what I'm doing. Hmm, it's interesting, okay. So I'm already doing it wrong, right? Cause she like takes it way out there. I just feel like that so doesn't work on my eye shape, but I'm gonna try it anyways. Like that? The Tarte Shape Tape kind of sets itself, so I'm just gonna let it do that. So while I'm in this awkward position, I'm going to go ahead and start on the lid. I'm gonna do the darker blue first. I'm gonna place it on like the inner third and the outer third. Okay, same brush I was using before. I'm gonna go in with the lightest teal color. Gonna try to blend it into the darker one. Okay, that's not blending well at all. Board mission. I'm gonna go in with a Makeup Geek eyeshadow and try to place that on top of the one I just put in the center of my lid because I don't feel like it's bright enough. It's a very subtle difference, but I'll take it. And then going back in with a darker shade, I really want these to blend together. Okay, this is what I'm thinking. I'm going to darken up the inner and outer corner and then maybe add some white in the center and I think that should help and give it the effect I'm looking for. So, I'm gonna go in with a little bit of black. Inner corner. How does she separate the color so well? I'm gonna add a little pop of white in the center of my lid and see what happens. Now for the fun part, the eyeliner. I've never done anything that interesting with eyeliner before, so this should be really interesting. Okay, so first she did, first I'm gonna do a regular line of eyeliner. So today I'm going to be using the Wet n Wild Mega Liner. It is like really cheap, like a couple bucks, and I feel like it's not going to be ideal for this look, but it's what I have right now. I used to use the Kat Von D Tattoo Liner, but this one's so much cheaper and I feel like it's just as good that I've been using this one. However, I kind of wish I had the Tattoo Liner for this. Okay, that's the easiest thing I'll be doing all day. Holy crap, there's no way I'm gonna be able to do this. Okay, now I'm going to attempt to do the line in the cut crease. All it is is a line, right? I can handle a line. I don't know how you're gonna see this. Does it go all the way from the inner corner to the outer corner? Yes. Y'all, I was prepared for something so much worse than this. 
So she has this really thick black line that goes on top of that and covers up a lot of the purple, which I'm kind of upset about, but I think I'm gonna do it anyways. Maybe I just won't make it as thick as that one. It starts like, I'm gonna do this with my eyes open, kind of. Oh my gosh, I don't know, I haven't decided yet. Okay, that was not that bad. I have to make it thicker on the top, but that was not that bad. We're gonna kind of wing it out a little bit. Actually, how does it look with my eyes open? Okay, a little weird. A little weird, that's okay. Okay, it's fine. Y'all, this is so much fun. I love makeup. So she draws a line from here to here. She probably takes it all the way down, right? Anyways, it looks like she does like, she makes this part round, but that's the thing that I feel like isn't gonna work with my eye shape because it's so hard for me to make a wing because of all the creases I have right here in the folds. How in the world am I gonna make like a half circle? This is hilarious. I'm literally just drawing over the folds of my eyelid. So now I basically need to connect the inner line here and then make another half circle. Okay, let's see if I can do this. I'm doing the thing where like your eyeliner is not even and then you make it thicker and thicker and the next thing you know it's all eyeliner. I need to stop. I really did it. Look, I so did it. That's how much I did it. Oh my gosh. I cannot believe I did that. I really don't feel like doing it on the other eye. Like does she usually do both eyes? This does so much effort. Okay, let me just make sure it's for sure dried and then we'll see what it looks like when I look straight ahead. Looking straight ahead. I look so pale and washed out right now. Probably because I am pale. Not elsewhere, it's just, it's really just like my face is pale. Now I'm gonna highlight my brow bone real quick. Put on some mascara. Oh my gosh. <gasps> that was so satisfying, look at that. Okay, it's smeared a little bit for my own sweat, but that's okay. This is wild, okay. Now that that's bad, I'm gonna go ahead and finish the look and then once I come back like, in a snap with this full face of makeup done, I'm gonna do the lower lash line and then we'll be completed. Are you ready for this? Hello. So I feel like I look absolutely ridiculous like looking straight on and I'm sure it'll help to do my lower lash line. So it looks like on her lower lash line, she basically just did purple and then put black on her waterline. So I'm gonna do the same thing. And then I'm gonna take some black eyeshadow and kind of blend out the lower eyeliner. Add the purple. I am shook because I don't think I've ever seen myself with so much heavy eye makeup on. <laughs> now I'm going to highlight my inner corner. I'm gonna connect the eyeliner right here, I think. So this is the final look from like a normal angle. I think I look pretty ridiculous, but makeup is art. Thank you so much to Emily Casanova for obviously inspiring this look and challenging me to step outside my comfort zone and realize that I can actually do things that I didn't know I could do. It was definitely really fun, if anything. So if you're not subscribed already, feel free to subscribe down below. I just got to 200 subscribers, but I always appreciate the support. I wonder if this will look better with a dark lip color. Anyways, I will see you guys soon with another video. So starting I swear. Pierce, every two seconds a plane flies by. I'm gonna lose my mind. I feel like so many people are testing me during this video. People including dogs. Are you kidding me? Can we stop mowing for two minutes?
Oh my. Okay, she basically makes like. Oh guys, my friend Brianna just tweeted and said, "My mom said this last video with Austin in it is her favorite video of yours ever." That's so cute. That makes me really happy. It's one of my favorites too. But I feel like I thought that that was just because I had so much fun doing it and I love Austin. But I'm glad that other people can see the fun that we're having and enjoy it too. That makes me really happy.